Brendan Allen extended his winning streak to seven consecutive fights in Saturday's UFC Fight Night 240 main event, defeating Chris Curtis by split decision in a very good fight between these two, a rematch of the last fight that Allen lost on his record back in December 2021. Curtis upset him on short notice with a knockout, and in this fight, it goes the distance, a much more competitive outing, much more back and forth. Both men had their moments here. You could make an argument, it went Curtis's way, but ultimately two of three judges see it for Allen, and his winning streak continues, and he's able to kind of get that defeat off his back and move forward now onto even bigger and better things. I have had a lot of stock behind Brendan Allen for a while now. I think he is a very, very good fighter. Uh, maybe this was his overall best performance he didn't get a submission but i think this is going to be absolutely critical for his overall growth as a fighter when you are on a rise like him on a streak like him thinking about title shots and potentially having that right around the corner to be able to get in a tough five round high pace fight like this is only going to serve him better as he gets older and more experienced he knows he can do this now he knows what he needs to change and i think for him that is invaluable going into a potential title fight do i think a title fight is going to be next no, but I think if you're Allen, you absolutely make the case to be the backup fighter, the potential alternate. If we do get this Drikus Duplessis versus Israel Adesanya title fight in August in Perth, I think that would be a great call for him. And of course, if anyone falls out, he could jump right in. Right now, I don't think there's any other super clear fight for him. Yeah, you could maybe go back to the Marvin Vittori fight that was originally supposed to headline this card. You could do someone like Paulo Costa, Jared Cannonier, I think would be a very interesting match although he is rumored to be fighting Nasruddin Imavov. So we'll kind of see how all the chips fall here. But Alan, of course, in a great spot. I think he's going to get another big fight next. It's just a matter of how the timing works out. But if I am him, absolutely putting my name in the hat to be that alternate fighter, weigh in for the title fight, show your presence there in Australia. If we do indeed get Duplessis and Adesanya, and then you're right there, out there in front of everyone, and you could potentially push to fight the winner, or at least get a big fight that would set you up for a title shot.